Okay. This is my presentation for social studies for the history of Norwood. So, what is your name? My name is Norma Sellers. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 74 years old. Okay. Um, do you have kids? I have two grown daughters. Okay. Um, why did you choose to stay in Norwood for the rest of your life? Because it's a small community where you can thrive, and be happy, and safe. Okay. And you can make a difference in the lives of other people, too. Mm -hmm. um, what is your job? Currently, I am a retired registered nurse and live on a beef farm where I help my husband. Okay. Um, what? Did you go to Norwood school? No, I did not. I went to school in California. What did you do in your school? I, I was on the newspaper and the yearbook staff. That was the only extracurricular activities that I had. <laughs> Um, I was never athletic. <laughs> How old were you when you met your husband? I was 18 when I met my husband. Okay. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Augusta, Maine. Where's that? What's that? Maine is a state in the northeast. Oh, I thought you meant like a, I thought it was like a hole or something like Augusta, Maine. Sounds like one word. The city of Augusta in the state of Maine. Okay. Like by no New York? Mm. You travel. Gosh. Northeast of New York. It's as far east as you can go and still be in the United States. You travel a lot. All the way from Maine, California, to Missouri. That's, that's right. Um, when is your birthday? February the 3rd. Okay. Um... What was your first vehicle? I had a little Ford Falcon. Okay. Um, did you get computers when you were in school? They didn't make computers when I was in school, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably, uh, was probably 30 when they made, started making computers. That's not really true. No, probably in my 20s, but not when I was in school. Okay. Um, did you wear shorty shorts when you yeah. were in school? Yeah, well, not to school, no, but at home. Okay. Did the guys wear shorty shorts? I, the athletes might have. I don't, the boys on the street didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, what was your favorite school lunch or breakfast? I'm sorry, I have no idea. What okay, what was your favorite lunch or breakfast? Like, did you have any, do you have a favorite lunch? No, I don't. You just like everything? I do. That's everything like, but fish, I do not like Me fish. neither. I don't like fish. fish. I like, sometimes I like, uh, what are those things called? That are like pink? Shrimp? Shrimp. I, it was, I like shrimp. I love lobster and crab because I'm from Maine. We ate those clams and scallops. Those are probably my favorite things. But to just eat fish, I, I like fried catfish, but I'm just not a big fish person. I don't. I don't like the texture of it, and it's and it just doesn't taste Smell. good. Smell. Yeah. Um, were you popular, or that kid in the corner that no one knew his name? I was somewhere in the middle. I was very shy, so I had a group of friends, so I wasn't one sitting in the corner, but I wouldn't say I was very popular. So you were like, every, people knew who you were, but it, right. you didn't like to talk a lot. Right, I was very shy. Okay. Um, did you have a good GPA? Yes, I did. Of course, back in, when I was in high school, <laughs> which seems like a long time ago now, <laughs> they didn't have as high a curve. I don't think they had a 
like a 4.0, but I was a straight A student. Um, what were your parents' names? My father's name was Thomas Fenton III, and my mother's name was Ruth Natalie Hunt. Okay, uh... What is different in school now from when then? Well, I, th I believe that school is... The educational system is better now in that more things are offered to, particularly high school kids. Things have changed so much. I mean, math has changed. All reading programs have changed. When I went to school, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, if you were in high school, you took algebra and geometry and algebra and calculus and now it seems like you have to have a lot of I th don't you learn algebra in, in middle school now mm -hmm. see it's, so it's a lot different we didn't when I was younger yeah I don't think it makes that you kids any smarter my teacher said that what he is teaching now he never learned in school so I can't help I, I was not able to help my grandsons when they were in elementary and middle school because they, it's not the kind of math I learned. Mm -hmm. um, do you have anything that you would like to like say or like something that happened that I didn't go over? Like something cool about Norwood? When, when we moved to Norwood in 1974, the school and the town were extremely poor. The school was, was small and old. And the people in the communities were not very well off. There were very few people that had much. And through the years, the school obviously has progressed, in part because of Leon Pendergrass, who pinched pennies and made people angry, but it, it help the school be able to survive and when I was when we first moved here in 74 to 76 in that range they wanted to consolidate the schools and because Norwood was not very successful not very big not very well off and the community got behind the school and we were able to save it okay do you have any questions for me yes what is your name my name is Michael James. When is your birthday? August 29th, 2002. So how old are you right now? 14. Okay. What do you like to do in your spare time? I like to play video games. Or watch you do. Do you like sports? Yeah. I like archery and basketball. I've heard very good things about the archery program. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. And thank you for the interview.